Let's talk about some false love, everyone. Nisei Koi episode one. Oh my god, does this shit look beautiful? Shaft did an incredible job animating this. This pretty much, if you don't know, Shaft are the same people that did Madoka Magica and the Monogatari series. I know that's a Zetsubo Sensei. This gets a real feeling of like the Monogatari series when you first see it. It's just colors everywhere. I just love how the series starts. You know, you see like the main guy, Rako Ichigo, and this girl making a promise saying, Zao say in love, which is uh, saying basically, like, you hold the key, uh, I'll hold the lock, and then once we um, get older, and we'll get married. And pretty much that's like a little child, and 10 years have passed since then. And now Raku um, is like an heir to a mafia boss, and he pretty much just wants to be a normal citizen. You just see some crazy stuff. And I gotta say as well, he's he being voiced by the Ant King right now. He's being voiced by Miriam. That sounds really fucking badass. And pretty much he's been warned, oh, there's mafia attacks lately. And literally, as he's just going to, like, his new day, like, high school and all that, he gets knee-dropped by our main girl, Chitogi Kiyosaki. And because of that, he loses his pendant. And then, later on, once he meets, like, his other uh, friends, like, you know, like, Undera, like, you find out that the transfer student is, in fact, Chitoge. And pretty much from the start, and they just hate each other. You just see, you know, oh, that's dependent. I just love that they showed, like, all these little times. They say, oh, this is day one with, like, Gorilla Girl. Day two, day six. Like, I like that they were showing a lot of development between the characters that they were ex extending on chapter one, which I really liked. It's, that's what they did. They gave these characters a lot of screen time that they deserved, and I thought it was really well done. And just how they did the animation, like, the characters. Well, you already see from the start as well, you know, it's just... It shit looks good, gorgeous. You know, through, through a love comedy, I was shocked about this because you know it's very funny, it's very enjoyable. From the I do, I've read the manga, like, and then as well the romance. You notice it there. You notice that you know Laku and Undela they have a little thing as well, and it was hinted as well that she's the one that might be having the key right now with the locker. She sees like she pulls a key out at the end of the episode. So what do you think, guys? Is she the one who tr truly holds Laku's lock? And then as well, like, seeing, like, the one bit that got to be in the episode is when you see that Kiyosaki herself, she's really a bitch when it comes to that, because she absolutely hates Raku from their little intro, saying, oh, you ruined my high school debut. And then when she's, like, asked to help look for her pendant and saying, you know, oh, it's just some trash. I bet she's forgotten about that. Raku loses his lid, and it shows, like, how much this thing cares to him. And then it was nice that Kiyosaki actually continued, even though she left for a while. She actually came back and actually returned the locket to him. I thought that was really nice to show. You know, <clears throat> the two may hate each other, but as well, they still do respect each other's opinions on what goes on with their, like, romance. Then when Raku returns home, he finds out that his mafia boss and his another mafia boss have green up and, and pretty much to stop this whole war. They pretty much have to get their daughter and son to date each other for the next three years. And then when Raku's surprised, when he sees the other, he's like, oh, God, it's Chitoge. And the two are like... Why am I going to spend the next three years with this guy? And pretty much the next three years, they've got to have false love. Overall, the episode was just really good, really funny. Animation looked beautiful, just craziness. Like, I'm just so surprised that they put all this work on a slice of life romance. It just shocks me. This is probably one of the most beautiful slice of life I've seen. And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. And also as well, opening one being done by Clara. That shit is just absolutely fantastic. I don't, I still don't know if this is a 13 episode series or it's going to be like 24 or more, but I'm guessing that's probably going to be 13 episodes, and I can imagine where the anime is going to end off, since the manga is still currently ongoing in Shonen Jump. Overall, I would give this definitely a 9 out of 10. Really enjoyable, highly recommended. I think this is probably the best one we've got so far out of Winner. There's been some good ones, but if you want a love comedy romance, then this is your one for you. A little bit of false love, but that's all for me. I want to thank you very much for watching. Remember, Stratlet Amanda. Sign out and I'll see you guys next time.